very good morning students let us look into the next topic called jk latch so before getting into jk latch let us understand what latch is we all know latch is a memory element which is used to store either one or zero in short we can say latch is a memory element which is used for storing single bit information that can be either zero or one we have already seen sr latch and d latch so latches are of four types one is sr latch d latch jk latch and t latch we are done with sr latch and d latch now we are getting into jk latch so before getting into jk latch looking into the concept of jk latch we need to understand that jk latch overcomes the drawback of sr latch so first we need to understand what is the drawback of sr latch so this is the true table of sr latch in sr latch there is a state called 0 and 0 when s is 0 and r is 0 your q and q bar will be invalid what is invalid if q is 0 q bar should be 1 right or if q is 1 q bar must be 0 whereas when s and r both are zeros q and q bar doesn't change both remain same so such state is called invalid state so sr latch has this setback so what is the job of jk latches jk latch will eliminate the problem of this invalid state so in jk latch we will not have this invalid state so that is the first and very important point jk latch is derived from sr latch which is used to eliminate the problem of this invalid state of sr latch let us see the construction as we said that jk latch so it is j and k so there are two inputs one is j and other one is k and we know that jk latch is derived from sr latch so i'm going to use sr latch as such and i'm going to extend this sr latch to jk let us see how to construct it so i will take sr latch as such this is the circuit diagram of sr latch which has two inputs s input and r input and two outputs q and q bar can you see i have taken same sr latch as such which has two inputs s input and r input which has two outputs q and q bar now how am i going to make this sr latch as jk is i'm going to use two nand gates okay so i'm going to use two nand gates i'm going to connect the s terminal to j okay i'm going to connect the s terminal to j via this nand gate and one input is j other input of this nand gate is coming from the q bar you know sr latch has two outputs q and q bar so q bar output is connected as one of the input of nand gate other input is j which is connected directly to what yes now let us see the next thing now k k is directly connected to r via what gate nand gate other input of NAND gate is coming from the Q output. So it is very clear. We are, we are using JK flip-flop or we are constructing JK flip-flop with help of NAND gates connected to SR. So J is connected to S. K is connected to R. Other input of J is coming from Q bar. Other input of K is coming from Q. This is the setup or you can say construction of jk latch right now let us look into the truth table this is very very simple truth table students only thing is you need to focus for a minute okay since i said jk so jk can be 00 or 01 or 10 zero or 11 let us assume j and k to be 00 first okay now this is qn qn now there are two things one is qn qn is the output i call it as present output i repeat qn is the present output qn plus one is the next output okay present state next state so qn is the present state qn plus one is the next state so two table is constructed with inputs j and k we will see what is 
present output what a uh, present state output and what is next state output n plus 1 is next state output so i have given j and k and i fed j k with what 0 0 and 0 0 i don't know what is the present state output right so what i'm doing is i'm just assuming my present state output to be either 0 or 1 okay now have i filled it so my j and k when it is 0 0 0 0 i am assuming j k to be zeros first when it is 0 my present state can be either 0 or 1 now what is it i need to find i need to identify what will be my next state so shall we start doing it first let us go to j as 0 and k as 0 can you see i made j wire as 0 k wire as 0 and what is my present state output present state output is 0 so my present state output is 0 so q is 0 which is connected to which of the NAND get k so the 0 comes here so k will be 0 0 now we will see what comes to the j when q is 0 q bar will be 1 so 1 is connected to what other input of the NAND gate okay now j has 1 and 0 input k has 0 and 0 this is a NAND gate okay what is AND this function 1 into 0 is 0 0 complement is 1 so output of this gate is 1 so my yes is 1 can you see this my yes is 1 now see here 0 into 0 is 0, 0 complement is 1. So my R is 1. Okay. Now my Q, I know it is 0 here. My Q is 0. That is what I have assumed. Q to be what? 0. So I have to pass the 0 down. So if I pass the 0 down, this NAND gates got two inputs. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 complement is 1. So I will pass that 1 again to this yes now this NAND gate got two inputs one and one one into one 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 complement is zero so what we got here is one into one 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 complement is what zero so uh, present state is qn is zero what is the next state what we have got is qn plus one is zero so i have to write zero here is it clear now let us see one more example what is the next thing if i assume this qn present state can be either 0 or 1 now we have seen for 0 now if i assume that qn to be 1 my present state to be 1 what happens we will see so my j is 0 k is 0 connect j to 0 connect k to 0 and my present state qn is what 1 so my present state qn is what 1. If I make qn as 1, you know qn complement will be what? 0. Now connect it. Since qn is 1, pass it qn directly to what gate? k. Connected to k. And qn bar is 0. So pass it 0 to j. So now see here, you, this is a NAND gate. You know what is NAND gate. If any of the input is 0, output is 1. So since I have 0 here, my output is 1, that 1 goes directly to yes. Now see here, if any one of the input is 0, output is 1. So pass that 1 to R here. Now what you need to do? First you need to go and check what is QN is equal to 1. So that 1 passes through this wire and reaches here. So what is the input of this gate? 1 into 1. Can you see this is a NAND? So 1 into 1, 1. 1 complement is 0. So pass the 0 to this gate. So you got two inputs 1 and 0. Now we know what is present state. We don't know what is next state. Let us see what is next state. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 complement is what? 1. So my next state is Q of n plus 1 is 1. Fill that with 1. So now we have done with what? When j and k are zeros, present state can be either 0 or 1. If it is 0, what is next state? 0. If it is 1, what is the next state? 1. Now let us see for the next criteria. So I am done with 0, 0. After 0, 0, I need to go for what? 0, 1. So what will I do for 0, 1? If, my, uh, if 
j is zero and k is one, I should assume my present state to be either zero or one. Let us see what happens if it is zero. I need to make what j as zero, k as one. First, do it j as zero, k as one. What is my next assumption? My q n is assumed to be what? 0. My qn is assumed to be what? 0. When qn is 0, qn bar is 1. Now I know qn is connected to a terminal which is connected to k. So qn is equal to 0. I have connected here. qn bar I have connected to what? j. Now see here, any one input is 0, output is 1. Any one input is 0, output is 1. So 1 comes as the output that goes directly to which terminal? Yes, terminal. When any one input is 0, output is 1. So 1 comes directly and goes to R terminal. Now what is the next step? I said, first go and see what is Qn. Can you see this Qn wire is connected to R. So Qn is 0. So 0 comes here. So 1 into 0. 0, 0 complement is 1. So bring that 1 here. Now can we identify what is the next state Q of n plus 1? So what is Q of n plus 1? 1 into 1, 1, 1 complement 0. So q of n plus 1 is 0. Have I filled this? Okay. Now what is that we need to check? What happens if my q of n is 1? This state. What happens if my q of n is 1? So again what I do? j is 0, k is 1. j is 0, k is 1. q n is 1. q n is connected directly to k. Qn complement is 0 is connected to j. Now look here. Always you need to start from the top. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 complement is 1. So yes is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 complement is 0. That is connected to R. After giving R 0, you need to go up directly and check the Qn. Qn is 1 which is connected through the wire. So 1 comes here. So 1 into 0, 0, 0 complement is 1. Now what is the next step? This 1 go directly here. So 1 into 1, 1, 1 complement is 0. That is Q of n plus 1. So what is Q of n plus 1? 0. I have filled this with what? 0. So I have done with 2 patterns. I have done with 0, 0. Now I have done with 0, 1. Now I need to go for 1, 0. So what I will say, when j and k is 1, 0, the present state can be either 0 or 1. Okay, either 0 or 1. Let us see what happens if it is 0. So I need to make k, j as 1, k as 0, q n as 0. j as 1, k as 0, q n as what? 0. Now what happens when qn is 0, you know qn bar is 1. So pass it, so k becomes 0, qn is 0, so it is 0, 0, j is 1, qn bar is 1, so it is 1, 1. 1 into 1, 1, 1 complement is 0, so it's s is 0. 0 into 0, 0, 0 complement is 1, so r is 1. Go directly to qn, qn is 0, so that wire comes here directly, so 0 is here. So 0 into 1 is 0, 0 complement is 1. Now how will I identify Q of n plus 1? This 1 has to pass here. Okay. After passing what happens? 0 into 1 is 0, 0 complement is 1. So when Qn is 0, Q of n plus 1 is 1. Clear? Now let us see for what? What happens when Qn is equal to 1? <clears throat> when Qn is equal to 1, j is 1, k is 0. What happens? j is 1, k is 0, Qn is 1. What happens? Q of n complement is 0. So pass this Qn here, 1 here. Pass this Qn bar 0 to j. So first you need to start from the top. 0 into 1, 0. 0 complement is 1. So s yes is 1. 0 into 1, 0, 0 complement is 1. So R is 1. What is Qn value here? Qn value is 1 that has to come through this wire. So 1 into 1, 1, 1 complement is 0. So that has to go to this. What will be the answer Q of n plus 1? 
1 into 0, 0, 0 complement is 1. So, Q of n plus 1 is 1. I have filled it. Similarly, you have to do for JK. So, JK is 0, 1, 1. So, I have done with 0, 0. I am done with 0, 1. We are done with 1, 0. Now, we need to see 1, 1. Now, see this 1, 1. If it is 1, 1, QN can be either 0 or 1. What happens if QN is 0? I made J and K as 1, 1. J is 1, K is 1. QN is what? 0. So, pass the 0 to K. Pass the 1 to J. 1 into 1, 1. 1 complement, 0. So, yes is 0. 1 into 0, 0. 0 complement is 1, R is 1. What is QN value? 0. Bring that 0 here. 1 into 0, 0, 0 complement 1. So, bring that 1 here. What is the next state? 1 into 0, 0, 0 complement is 1. So, Q of n plus 1 is 1. Similarly, you have to do for 0 and 1. Now, what is that we are going to do? I know this is my block diagram or circuit diagram for JK latch. This is the truth table just we have filled. What is that we have observed from this the true table is J, K, J, K and the next state Q of N plus 1. What is happening? What is the state? When J and K, I know 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. See, it, see how it looks. When J and K are 0, 0, J and K are 0, 0, whatever was there in QN, same thing is repeating in QN plus 1. So, there is no change. QN plus 1 is similar to QN. That is why we write here QN. Clear? So, what is the comment I need to write? There is no change in the state. Okay? There is no change in the state. Can you see? I repeat. When J is 0, K is 0, J is 0, K is 0, whatever output you have in Q of N plus 1 is same as that of QN. So, I will write Q of N plus 1 is same as that of QN. So, there is no change in the state. What happens when J is 0 and K is 1? When J is 0 and K is 1, okay, what is happening? Is, uh, can you see? You get output as what? 0, 0. Irrespective of Q is 0 or 1, my output is what? 0, 0. So, my output is 0. So, it is reset. Next one, see the next state. When J is 1, K is 0. When J is completely 1, K is 0. Whatever be the QN value, 0 or 1, output is completely 1. So, I write here 1. So, I, I say it is set. Now, see the next one. When J and K is 1, 1. When J is 1, K is 1, what is the output? Can you see here? QN is 0, 1. Here, output we are getting 1, 0. Is it invert to it? Yes. So, I say my Q of N plus 1 is complement of QN. It's complement of QN. So, I call the status toggle. 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So, I call it as toggle. In short, I can say, you know, J is connected to set. K is connected to reset. You can just write whenever set is 1, output is 1. Whenever reset is 1, you should reset it. So, output is 0. So, when both are 0, 0, there is no change. When both are 1, 1, it becomes a toggle state. The output gets complemented. So, have we eliminated the problem of invalid state? So, what is the drawback of SR gate? In SR gate, whenever S and R are 0, 0, it is an invalid state. Whereas, JK flip-flop, whenever J and K are 0, 0, it is not invalid state. Instead, it, out the next state will be same as the top previous state. Okay, QN plus 1 will be same as the top Q1. So, there will not be any change. So, this is the working of JK latch. Thank you.